Does persistent pain and sickness rob you of your joy and vitality? Are your pillows soaked with tears as a result of that recurrent disease that is threatening to sweep you off your feet? Just picture a moment where the chains of illness are shattered and divine healing flows through you, bringing restoration and peace upon you. This prayer is your special invitation to experience the miraculous healing power of Jesus, who still heals today, just as he did many years ago. Let go of every fear or doubt that may prevent you from transcending into the realm of healing today. With your eyes closed and your hearts opened, get ready to experience God's miraculous power through this prayer. Join us as we step into God's healing presence. Dearly beloved friends, you are welcome to this sacred moment where we come together in faith, believing in the power of God's healing. We serve a God who is called Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. His love and compassion are boundless, and He desires to see us healthy and whole. Today, we stand on the promises of His Word, believing in Him for miracles, blessings, healings, abundance, and breakthroughs. Healing is not just a physical restoration, but a spiritual renewal, an emotional cleansing, and a return to the fullness of life that God intends for us. When we look at the Bible, there are lots of stories that tell us about God's healing power. One of the most profound stories is found in Mark chapter 5, verses 25 to 34. Here, we learn about a woman who had been suffering from severe bleeding for 12 long years. She had spent all her money on doctors, but her condition only worsened. She had heard about Jesus and located him. With faith that transcended her desperation, she reached out and touched the hem of his garment, believing that even this small act would heal her. Immediately, she was healed. Jesus, sensing that power had gone out from him, asked who touched him. Trembling, the woman confessed, but Jesus said, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. This story reminds us that faith is a powerful catalyst for healing. In the healing process, there is always an act of faith that will provoke God's power. The story also teaches us that no matter how long we have been in pain, no matter the severity of our afflictions, God's power to heal remains consistent and real. It is a call to each of us to reach out to Jesus, believing that He can and will restore us. James chapter 5 verses 14 to 15 encourages us to seek prayer when we are sick. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. So, if you are sick, you need not fall into the cold hands of depression. You need not isolate yourself from others and give in to the fear of dying. What you need to do is to key into the scripture and seek prayer. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, God made a promise in his word, and it says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. The Lord has promised to take sickness away from us. He is not a God that promises and fails. Whatever he says, he will fulfill. So, just worship him in advance for your healing, because worship and obedience are pathways to receiving God's blessings and healing. Isaiah chapter 57, verses 18 to 19, reveals God's decision towards us. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord. 
and I will heal them. When God has decided to heal you, nothing else can kill you. God's healing is holistic and all-encompassing. His healing covers our physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. Have you read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 6? It says, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. This scripture reassures us that God's desire is for us to live in peace and security, free from the chains of illnesses that are holding us bound. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 paints a picture of the ultimate healing we will experience in Christ. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This future promise gives us hope and encouragement to endure and seek God's healing today. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 reminds us that God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. When we look at how people are suffering as a result of one illness or another, we can agree that healing is a critical need in this present time. If the Lord then says, He shall meet all our needs, what should we be afraid of? Have you not read Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15, which promises God's protection from disease? It says, The Lord will keep you free from every disease. He will not inflict on you the horrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but He will inflict them on all who hate you. Finally, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, outlines a path to healing. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Let us now humble ourselves before the Lord. Let us pray and seek his face for healing. As we prepare to enter into this prayer, let us hold these scriptures and truths in our hearts. They remind us of God's incredible power, His unfailing love, and His desire to see us whole. Whatever your need is today, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, believe that God is here, ready to heal and restore. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Let us pray together with faith and an open heart to receive. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of faith, believing in your power to heal and restore. We acknowledge you as Jehovah Rapha, our healer and we stand on the promises of your word. Lord, we know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And just as you performed miracles in the past, you are able and willing to do the same today. Father, we thank you for making provision for our deliverance from every form of sickness through the mighty name of Jesus. Your love for us is immense and you desire to see us whole and healthy. We rely on your word, hoping on you for miracles, blessings, and the abundant healing that only you can provide. Lord, we bring before you every person listening to this prayer who needs healing. We ask that you touch them with your healing hand. Your word in James chapter 5, verses 14 to 15 tells us that the prayer of faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will raise them. Father, we pray with unshakable faith, knowing that you hear us and that you are moving on our behalf. We release ourselves from the grip of every inherited sickness. Let the blood of Jesus flush out from our systems every genetically acquired disease in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that the blood of Jesus cleanse every organ in our bodies and cause them to function optimally beginning from now. 
We believe in the cleansing and healing power of the blood of Jesus, which purifies and makes us whole. Lord, your word in Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22 tells us that your words are life and health to our whole body. We immerse ourselves in your word, letting it dwell richly in us, knowing that it brings us healing and life. Speak your words of life over us now, Lord. Let your healing power flow through every part of our being. We break and lose ourselves from every evil covenant of sickness in the name of Jesus. Every agreement we have with any illness, knowingly or unknowingly, we henceforth declare it null and void through the power of the blood of Jesus. In your word, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, reminds us that by your wounds, Jesus, we have been healed. We claim that healing now. By your wounds, every disease, every illness, every pain, and every affliction must leave our bodies right now. We declare complete healing in the name of Jesus. Your word says that when we decree a thing, it shall be established. We therefore decree that we are loosed from every evil curse leading to frequent illness in our bodies. Curses of sickness and disease, you have no power over us, because Jesus became a curse for me on the cross. Galatians 3 verse 13 says that Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Therefore, we are free from every curse of sickness and disease. We resist every spirit of sickness in our lives in Jesus' name. We declare that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and no unclean thing can dwell in it. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, invites us to come to you, Jesus, when we are weary and burdened, and you will give us rest. Lord, we come to you now, laying down our burdens, our illnesses, our fears, and our pains. We take your yoke upon us, and we find rest for our souls. Thank you for your gentle and humble heart, and for the healing you provide. O oh Lord, let your resurrection power come upon my health in general in Jesus' name. Just as you raised Jesus from the dead, let that same power bring life and vitality to every part of my body. Romans 8 verse 11 declares that the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in us. And he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to our mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in us. We bind and cast out every spirit of death operating in us in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare life over our bodies for your word says in John 10, verse 10, that you came that we may have life and have it to the full. Every spirit of death and destruction, you have no place in our lives. We command every dead bone in our bodies to come alive in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 5 to 6 tells us that you will make breath enter us and we will come to life. We declare life and health over every cell, tissue, and organ in our bodies. We breathe in the life of God, and we reject every spirit of death and the grave in the name of Jesus. The life of God flows through us, bringing healing and restoration. We recover every resource that we have lost through sickness in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2, verses 25 to 26 promises that you will restore the years the locusts have eaten. Lord, restore to us everything that sickness has stolen, time, health, finances, and peace. Father, let your creative power operate afresh in our bodies and rejuvenate every dying part in the name of Jesus. Your word in Psalm 139 verse 14 declares that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Let your divine creativity bring renewal and restoration to every part of my body. Just as your spirit hovered over the waters in Genesis, let your spirit hover over me, purifying and healing me. 
We command every evil plantation in our lives to come out with all its roots in the name of Jesus. Your word in Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 says, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Lord, uproot every source of illness and disease in our lives. You evil strangers of sickness and disease in us, we command you to come out now in the name of Jesus. Every foreign entity causing harm be expelled by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let all negative materials circulating in our bloodstream be evacuated in the name of Jesus. Purify our blood, Lord, and cleanse us from all impurities. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 says, We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We declare that the blood of Jesus protects us and brings healing to every part of our bodies in the name of Jesus. From the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, we decree deliverance, healing, blessings, and breakthroughs. Every anomaly, every unexplained illness, you have no place in us. We separate ourselves from every genetic sickness in Jesus' name. We declare that we are not bound by the genetics of this world, but by the divine nature given to us through Christ. We cut off from every recurring sickness in the name of Jesus. Your word in Nahum, chapter 1, verse 9, promises that trouble will not come a second time. Therefore, we stand on this promise, declaring an end to the cycle of illness. Heavenly Father, we thank you for totally delivering us from sickness and disease. We acknowledge your goodness and your power. We thank you for hearing our prayers and for the miracles that are being set into motion even now. We thank you for your unending love, your mercy that fails not, and your faithfulness in all situations. We declare that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus, and we receive this healing by faith. Lord, as we conclude this prayer, we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We know that you are our healer, our provider, and our protector. We rest in your promises and stand in faith, knowing that your power is at work within us. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus, in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel, Power Prayers for Jesus, will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.